Small Business Saturday is tomorrow, but a Largo comic book store is starting a day early and hoping for a lot of business. The store was forced to close for a month, and as News reporter Madison Allworth explains, now they're fighting just to stay open. Well, I'm here to do some shopping. So. I appreciate it. Patrick has been in the comic book business for 37 years, but this last month has been a tough one. It's been three weeks since the stroke, and the store has been closed the, the entire time. Okay. Running behind on bills, Patrick needed to open the business again. Right now, the store has no power, and we've got to get the power turned back on. Despite the stroke, you know, life goes on, and the you know, bill collectors want to be paid, and you've, you know, you've got to be able to eat. So Patrick decided to go all in on this holiday shopping weekend and offer 50% off sales on nearly every item in his store. Well, what I wanted to do was get the store open again and try and turn things around while there's still a chance. This three-day mega sale is about a lot more than just finding the perfect holiday gift for both Patrick and his customers. We just saw that, that he needed help and it's a small community. We're all in this together. With LED lights and iPhone flashlights in hand, customers combed through miles of memorabilia. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you, guys. God bless you. And uh, thank you. And uh, that we take care of all our responsibilities, get back on track, uh, at the very least, give us a fighting chance. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Fighting for his health and for the future of his store. It fills you with hope. You know, people have been telling me too, you know, as I said, people have been reaching out to me and telling me, you're going to get better, you're going to get through this, don't give up. So, <laughs> and that means everything to me. It really does.